What is up and welcome to the Real Ray Home Hair Academy, sorta. This is a hybrid, it's a Home Hair Academy and a how-to. So today I'm gonna show you how to apply color to your roots for a root touch-up because I need a root touch-up, you see? It's bad. So I'm gonna be using a bottle instead of a bowl and a brush because I think it is significantly easier. The supplies that I think you should go ahead and have are a bottle or bowl and brush if you wanna do that way. You need to make sure and have some gloves, some color remover for your skin because it's gonna get on your skin for sure. I would recommend also getting a scale if you're gonna be doing this on a regular basis. And I just checked on Amazon because I definitely borrowed one from the salon because I don't have one at my house. I don't need one the rest of the time. But you can get one anywhere from like 10 to $30. So they're not expensive. And you may have one in your kitchen already for like measuring produce stuff or you know, if you sell drugs or something. But any of those scales will work. Make sure to check the directions on the color you choose for mixing proportions. So some color will have you use equal parts color and developer. And sometimes it'll have you use double developer to one part um, color. And it's important that you follow these because they are formulated to work that way. Same with the processing time, you wanna make sure that you are following those instructions because they know what they're talking about. They've made it. Since I like this is it is easier, mostly just for the back. So what'll happen is you just kinda like make little sections and you'll watch me do it in a second, but just going through the hair and squishing the color into your little segments and then smush it around. And my bonus bonus tip of the day. So like I'm just touching up my roots. It's the color I normally use. And even if it was just one that was gonna be similar, this would work for a refresher. Once it's done processing, go ahead and you know put your head under the sink and get your roots wet and all of your hair wet just for a second. And then just kind of like pretend you're shampooing your hair. And if you have any left in your bottle, you can add a little water to that and squirt the remaining color water mixture all over your hair and let it sit for about five minutes before you rinse and shampoo and condition. So for a quick step-by-step -step verbal, how to cover your roots yourself, measure accurately and then mix your color. If you're using a lot of color, if you've got like, I've got a lot of hair, it's kind of misleading. So I actually have two bottles. So my plan is I'll go ahead and mix half in here and have the other half in here because when this bottle gets too full it's really hard to like shake it all the way to thoroughly mix it and then who knows what color pigments are going to come out so don't overfill your bottle and if you have a ton of hair maybe just get two bottles and swap the cap out if you're using a bowl and brush combination make sure you've got a little whisk and just like be thorough when you're stirring it and you'll always want to start around your hairline so i just squish all around here and around the back. Then I go down my part and kind of make, like you would in the salon or like you'd see them, I make four segments and then I'll go through and do little parts in between all of that and then the same in the back. Once I get it applied to everything, get your hands, your gloved hands, smush it around. And if you have another human in your house, Go find that human and have them check the back of your head to see if you have any missing spots. My suggestion for the rinsing process would be to rinse in the sink, head upside down style. I know it's not ideal. Um, and then if you're wanting to shower for the shampoo and condition, hop in the shower then. I just don't like the idea of like all the chemicals going down your backside. I don't know. It just kind of weirds me out. So that's my suggestion there. Take it or leave it. So super easy peasy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. All right, y'all, let's get started with the process. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure and do that before you get too distracted learning how to color your roots with a bottle. my kind of place. 
desert me Checking on my horoscope before I walk out the door Gonna make it beautiful no matter what's in store Got a lot of shit to shoot and dollars to be made Whatever you wanna do, I'm free on Saturday You're feeling yourself tonight like we wouldn't believe So get up off your feet, we're dancing to a different So that is how you apply your root touch up with bottle. It is super stinky in here because it's not well ventilated so my eyes get a little watery and if I made any faces that's what that was about. Um, but yeah I'm gonna go and uh, clean up all this mess and clean up my sink because I have definitely made a mess in here. Um, I'll post a picture in just a second up there or after I'm done talking. Um, of my root free dry hair, which will technically be taken tomorrow because it's really late. But yeah, it's super easy peasy this way. And I think like the smushing around makes a huge difference and just not missing as many areas. All right, y'all, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, help me out by doing that. And I will see your beautiful faces next time. It's the real Ray. Bye.